When it comes to the winter season, there's a lot of easy pits and downfalls that we find ourselves stumbling into that lead us to injury, pain, or struggling to get back into normal routines come springtime. I'm physical therapist Katie Wolfley, and we're here to talk about some wellness tips to keep you safe through the winter season. First and foremost, we always know that the winter season will either bring us cold, icy, or wintry conditions, and that can lead to an increased risk of falls just because of those difficult terrains. It can lead to strains, fractures, all sorts of injuries, and important things to keep in mind are making sure that as we walk on those uneven terrains, we're walking with short feet, short steps like penguin feet, um, and making sure that we keep our center of mass underneath us. This will absolutely reduce our risk of falls and keep us more upright. Second, we need to remember to have good shoes that have traction to them. So something that's not flat underneath the bottom has a lot of um, different pieces to keep us from slipping through wet conditions. This will also help us to stay on our feet. And third, we need to remember that if we typically move around with any assisted devices like canes or walkers that maybe you do or don't choose at certain points in times, we should take those with us just to keep us safe. When it comes to snow clearing, there actually is something as good technique. We should consider that shoveling snow is like an exercise for our winter season. So it is important that we try to do something like a warm up or do some stretches before getting outside and moving that snow. Second, we wanna make sure that we're moving correctly. So bending through our hips and our knees and keeping our back flat as we do that, we'll make sure that we're using larger muscle groups to support our spine and all of our larger joints, keeping us upright and keeping us healthy through that activity. Third, we wanna make sure that we try and break things up. So if you're somebody who doesn't do a lot of exercise on a regular basis, remember this is exercise. So maybe you do some of your driveway during one point in time, come back in, rest for a little bit, and finish out the activity on a second visit. It can also be useful to use a smaller shovel. So having a larger shovel encourages us to use and lift more weight. If we have a smaller one, we're more likely to move smaller loads and reduce that strain on our bodies. Outside of the outdoor conditions, things within our bodies can change as well. And patients tell us that they get stiff and cranky in their joints during the winter season. This because with cold weather, cold actually makes the fluid with inside our major joints stiffen up, kind of like a jello. And this becomes more difficult for us to move and a little bit more painful, especially if you're somebody who already deals with arthritis on a daily basis. So when we struggle with these things, it's important for us to actually just cover those joints to keep them warm, as that warmth is gonna encourage that internal fluid to continue to be fluid and keep it moving well. If we can't do that with a lot of just extra layers and warm clothes, then consider putting some extra heat on top, whether that be something that you throw in the microwave as a heat pack or maybe using a heating pad to keep those joints mobile and comfortable. It's also helpful to consider doing a gentle stretching or exercise routine, even something as simple as keeping you walking and moving throughout the winter, be it you going to the mall and doing a lap around, or just keeping yourself with some light exercises and stretching at home, it's good to keep those joints from being stiff and moving a little bit easier. If you're someone who really likes to partake in outdoor activities and that's what keeps you active throughout our warmer months, it's important for us to find a routine that works for us that keeps us indoors instead. So consider trying some at-home programs that maybe you can do from your living room. Think things like yoga, Pilates, or even some light aerobic exercises that do use resistance bands and weights. It's important for us to keep up on these regular routines to maintain our strength, our balance and flexibility, as this will even prevent us from all of those falls that might occur during the winter season. Winter injuries are so common, we see them so often. It's important that we seek rehab or therapy afterwards to make sure that we get back to where we are. As PTs and OTs, we see a lot of injuries that might include fractures, sprains, strains, low back injuries. Whether that be from a fall or even from winter sports, it's very common and we are here to help our patients get back to where they wanna be. We have a lot of knowledge on how to reduce inflammation, how to get through the right exercise program to help you get back to where you need to be so you can be ready to go for the springtime. If you do find yourself injured from the winter season and you're needing to get back to regular function, always give us a call. We have many physical therapists and occupational therapists ready to work with you to create a personalized plan to get you back to where you wanna be. You can find us at buffalorehab.com.